Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Your, what was your question originally, no, I brother? Said, I just never really got the Bible, but I didn't think it consisted of it. I thought it was just thrown on us. Okay. You know, due to the, our ancestors and our grandmothers and great grandmothers, they will put it on you and they how you believe and what they believe. You know what I mean? Like that. I always had a hard time with that, with that Bible, man. So a lot of our people, they struggle. What's your name, brother? My name is Eli, brother. I'm Brother David. I'm, nice to meet you. All right, so a lot of our people, they, they struggle with the Bible is because we, we, like you said, we thought that that was the white man book and that was his doctrine that they was forcing on us. Okay, so the, the Bible is our book. It's our record book. But what they gave us was uh, their different ideas. That's why so many, it's one book, but it's about 34, it's 34,000 denominations to this one book. You got uh, Episcopalian, your Pentecostal, your Baptist, you got all these different denominations. This book, check out what this, this say right here, the prophet Isaiah, who was a black man j just like you and me. Isaiah 29 verse 13, wherefore the Lord said, for as much as his people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but, but have removed their heart far from me. Wait a minute, read that again from the top. Wherefore the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me. We do, our, our people do a lot of lip service. We love God, I got God in my heart. We all we all say stuff like that, but then we, we go out and we do nothing but wickedness. We don't. But have removed their heart far from me. Removed our heart, our mind far from the Lord, why? Because we don't do nothing he say. We don't do commandment one. Read. And their fear towards me is taught by the precept of men. It's taught by who? The precepts of men. So that's that's why we out here, we talk good game like we love the Lord, but we don't do nothing because these different denominations, the precept of men, all the stuff we've been taught, they, they taught us these doctrines of this man right here. Right here, tell you, you can be any way you want to be. Just at the at the buzzer before you die, say I love the Lord and you'll get the kingdom. Just, just, that, just that simple. Yeah. So what we give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. So that's an example right there of all the man-made uh, religion. That's the precept of men right there. The different ideologies. They took what they look like this, out this Bible. Like look, uh, John Smith. He took what he liked out this Bible, what sound good to him, and made Baptist. Joseph Smith, he created his doctrine. He took pieces out of this Bible and, add, and and wrote another book called the, the Book of Mormon and added to it and created his own doctrine. And our people are getting caught up in all these doctrines. Uh, that Right there, Jehovah's Witness, Charles T. T. Russell. I, a lot of our people is following that foolishness nowadays. So we're not really following the Bible, we're following these different ideas that these men have. All right, what we're supposed to be following Listen to this. Deut Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12. This is what God gave us to follow. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is what we're supposed to be following. Uh, Brother Gideon, no, don't walk off. You got a question. And now Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. So all those different precepts of men, they never taught us this. Right. They never taught us that we the Israelites and we got to keep these commandments. That's Give me right. Psalms 94 and 16, because we was talking about how, how our community got so bad. Why is so much hatred in the black and Hispanic community? Why, Why we out here killing each other? Why you can't greet me? Well, like this always bring me with a mug. That's what you about these young boys too, man. Right, and I heard you, you say it. with a handshake. 
Oh, what's up, Spoon? They got everybody bugging each other. Right. We got the we, meanest mugs. We putting on that tough, that, that tough act for one right another. There, though. I agree with you on that. Like we scared to show love. Yeah, man, you think I ain't got a mug when I see you, brother. I can shake your head at you while you doing, bro. So listen up. This is what we got to do as men. Listen up. This is what we got to do as men. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. So all the men who care about changing, their, making change in their community, this is what we must do. The black man must stand up in this community. That's right. We got to come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments. All right? Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? The Lord is looking for a few good men. He's saying, who got the balls? Who got the testicular fortitude to stand up for the laws of God against the workers of, of iniquity? Teach. It's time for you men to get on the front line with your brothers. Get on the front line with your brothers. We're going to get out here. We're going to tell our sisters, stop dressing like a hoe. Dress in model, modest apparel like God requires of you. Dressing like a hoe, that's what, that's what uh, they learn from this, this society. That's what they learned from the white woman. If you go, you look at pictures from our, our, of our sisters from uh, uh, the 50s and the 60s. They don't get down like that. They was dressed in modest dresses. They were holding their books close to their chest. But now all of a sudden, the, the uh, Gloria Steinem in her feminist movement, she sucked our sisters into that. And now they got our sisters out here to talk about some what? Twerking and all that nonsense. All they know. Us men got to stand up against that wickedness. Read that again. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? We got to stand up against these game bangers. We got to stand up against this, this smoking weed. We can't be afraid to speak. We got to stand up. Over there in Africa, they, they had a uh, they were trying to do like they do over here and have a uh, have gangs and all that nonsense. Guess what they was doing? They was beating the hell out of them Negro. Killed, killed a couple of them. Guess what happened to the gang problem? Zip. Ain't no gang problem. They was beating the hell out of them gangs over there. That's what happened when the men stand up. Read that again. Who was rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who would stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? So we got to start standing up and what we got to stand up for? God's laws, statutes, and commandments. We got to come back to what God gave us. Because we the gods of this earth. The Bible tells us that we the gods of this earth. How we going to be the gods of the earth if we ain't following the Most High God format? He gave us this format to follow. What to eat. What to do. What holy, what holy days to keep. How to dress. He gave us a dress code. Don't take more than this. He made us, he, he gave us the formats that make us gods. But we straight, that we die like men because we strayed away from this. We want to be niggas. We want to be thugs. We want to be a hustler. We standing out here on these corners with this, this foolishness. It's a spirit that's out here. The other, other prophet was just saying, he was making a, 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 a wonderful contrast of how it was in uh, the older generation and how it is, is in this newer generation and these these. Uh, new brothers that we got walking around here. It's a different spirit that's out here and we got to stand up against it. All right? And the Bible got us pegged. The, the Bible going to show us that spirit that's out here right now. Read. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. So we in them last days with these perilous times. If you look at new, at the news, it, it, hell, New York done flooded over there. As a uh, been an earthquake and a damn tornado over there in Mexico. We have fires popping up. All kinds of stuff going on. Uh, what's that disease thing going around? Right, they all signs, and that all those things is happening in these last days. These are those perilous times, and it's gonna get worse. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Check it out. Check it out, uh, young brother. How, how old are you? You, you 20 years old. What's your name? Amen. All right, the, the prophet before me just gave a, a, a wonderful contrast of how it was in the older generation and how it is in the newer generation. In the older generation, when a brother was walking around with some busted shoes, all the other brothers helped him out to get him a pair of shoes. 
But in the newer generations, if you see somebody with some busted shoes, we talking about the, about the brother. Our people is terrible to one another. show us the spirit that's up here you see yourself you see yourself on that sign right there the blacks hispanics and the native americans are the israelites according to the bible that's right so whichever find that tribe that you fit one side is is what god calls you on the other side is what we call here in the society the bywords that we call in the society we got to come back to this book that's right. all right check it out we about to show the spirit that's on this earth today Bring it out. amongst our people Verse 2, for men shall be lovers of themselves own self. Today, our people don't care about nobody but they damn self. It was a time when we cared, we had love for our community. We had love for our, 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 our people. You say it's not true? I don't believe that. It's, it, 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 well, it we, is very true. We care for each other. There's we, a cat choose, we choose not to deal with it. There's a category of crime called black on black crime. Bring it out. Black on black crime, we killing at each other at an alarming rate. Read that again. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Men are lovers of them own selves. We care about ourselves. We, I gotta get a ba uh, bag. I gotta get mine. You get yours, brother. I gotta get mine. Read. Covetous. Our people got a covetous spirit on them. That's why we're doing all this stuff to get, we'll do anything for money. We out here selling dope. We sell dope and kill our own brothers just to get some rims on our car. And that's the poison from another one. Just to get a Cadillac. That's the poison. We didn't put it out here. And, we, and we'll make up all kinds of excuses. Oh, I got to get this money. That's the poison. Bring it out. That's poison. Read. That's poison. Posters. It's proud. It's so much Blasphemers. Read that again. Posters. Posters. Read. Proud. Proud. High-minded. We we got we our people uh, we got a, such a low self-esteem because we don't know who we are. We gotta boast and and live and, and praise ourselves to make up for that low self-esteem that we have. Where does that low self-esteem come from? First and foremost, not knowing who we are. Not knowing that God made us special above all nations that are upon the face of the earth. That's right. What else can help contribute to that low self-esteem? This right here. Bring it out. Being misled. This right here. If this is Jesus, then when I see these people walking around, they're the people of God. If that's if that right there is God, then you just a nigga to me. I can sell you some dope. I don't care as long as I get some money. Bring it out. You step on my toe, I'll shoot you. Right. That's how we can do, do those things to one another. Because we've been destroyed. We got a, a low self-esteem. But that's why we out here. We gonna change that. That's why we want you brothers to stand up and get on the right side so you can, so you can change that as well. Because we ain't gonna do it by ourselves. We need the men to stand up. And stand up against this spirit that's out here right right here. Read. Blasphemers. Disobedient to parents. I, why, why these young blood young bloods getting shot down in the street? They're disobedient to parents. Even the parents that don't know too much about God's laws, they still somewhat try to lead their kids in the right direction. Don't hang out with these guys. Go to school, get your education. Don't go over there on that corner. They still try. But our people are un they, 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 they're disobedient to parents. That's why these young girls, they, 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 they cut in school. You see what I'm saying? You hear everything that's coming out, brother? I'm talking about the spirit that's on, on this earth amongst our people today that our people, our men must stand up against. We don't. Unthankful, unholy. Our people are unthankful and unholy. Bring it out. Bring it out. Have you, when the last time you held the door open for, for somebody? For my wife on the What's that? Okay, for your wife. 
You hold your, you hold the door open for people they don't even know that you're supposed to say thank you for a kind guest gesture like that. We've lost that. We've strayed far away from this. It's time for the, the, the men in our community to stand up and bring us back. All right. Well, no, not everyone, but on a, on a grand on a grand scale. Yeah. On, too much. The majority. <laughs> the majority. Yeah. So we got to come back to the God's law, statutes, and commandments, and we are the ones that's gonna stand up and make a change. So I'm gonna do a test. I'm gonna see who's willing to stand up. Cause would you be willing to stand up for your community and stand up for God? Would you be willing to stand up for your community and stand up for God? Would you be willing to stand up for your community and stand up for God? I might not can't solve the problem, but I'm stand up. That's what we need. We need that. God said in Psalms 94 and 16, one more time. He said, who will stand up for me? He's looking for a few good men. Because remember, when you read this Bible, God never needed numbers. He used to take a handful of men and destroy armies. When we got the spirit of God on us, all we need is a few men. Read that one more time. Psalms 94 verse 16. Listen up. Who will rise up for me against the evil doer? Read it again. Who will rise up for me against the evil doer? Read it again. This is the most high God asking this question. Read. Who will rise up for me against the evil doer? He's looking for superheroes. Right. Who's willing to stand up and be the superheroes? Who gonna stand up against the, the evil doers? Read. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who going to stand up against evil? The workers of iniquity is sin. So let's do a little test. All right, give me 1 Corinthians. The, the first thing we got to do when we stand up, when we answer that call, is we got to be ready to fall in order. In our communities, there's a lot of disorder. We used to doing what we want to do, eating what we want to eat, living how we want to live. Not being held accountable for much of nothing. But the first thing we must learn when we step into God's arms, step, as, step up as men of the Lord, as leaders of our community, we got to first learn how to fall in line and fall in order. All right? So God is going to reveal his divine order. Because God has an order. Read. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3. Read it. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of every man is Christ, the black Messiah, not this. We, this has been pushed on us. That's why we feel like we can do whatever we want. And all we got to do is say we love good old Master Jesus. This is the head of every man. That's the Christ that's the head of every man, the black Messiah. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. You're supposed to be leading your woman, black man. I know this has taught us that, oh, it's 50-50. It's not 50-50 in God's divine order. If you believe in God, you men are supposed to be leading your women and leading your households. All right? Read. And the head of Christ is God. Even Christ has a, a, a head. Even he falls in order to someone, the most high God. Read. Every man praying or prophesying. Okay, here come the test. Because we all said that we, we were we willing to stand up for our community. We're willing to answer this call that the Most High God gave us. He said, who will rise up for me against the workers of iniquity, against the evildoers? Every, every man that you see here in purple answered that call. That's right. We was out here smoking weed, cigarettes, right. selling dope, right. chasing booty, just like all, all these other men out here. But we answered that call when we got it. All right. Bring it out. Read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So it says, any man praying or in the midst of prophecy, we read these scriptures, we are in the midst of prophecy. That's right. If you, when you're in the midst of prophecy, any man praying or prophesying with their head covered, they dishonor their head. Meaning they dishonor the rest of that order. So who's our head? Christ. Who, who's his head? The Most High. So not only do we dishonor this man, but we dishonor the Most High God. We dishonor the rest of that order. Read on. Verse 5. But every woman praying or prophesying, having her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. So if these scriptures is coming out in a woman, 
has her head uncovered, she disorders, she dishonors the rest of that order. She dishonored you and all the rest of the men. She dishonored Christ and she dishonors the Most High. So let's read it again. Let's see if we really ready to stand up. The first thing we got to do to stand up is fall in line and fall in order. Read. Read from three again. First Corinthians 11 verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Christ. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. It's not 50-50. Read. And the head of Christ is God. Christ has, has a head. He is in order. He told people when he was walking, when he was on the earth, he said, my doctrine is not mine. He wasn't following his own doctrine. He was following what the Father gave him. He was carrying out what the Father gave him. That's Read on. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. Read it again. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. Read. Dishonoreth his head. You dishonoring your head. All right, so what we got to do first and foremost? If our head is covered while we're praying and prophesying, if we dishonor in the rest of the order, we dishonor in Christ and the Most High God by having our head covered while, we, while the scriptures is coming out, while we're building as a nation, while we're coming back and learning what we must do as men to change the status and, uh, and uplift the multitude of our people, what we must do? What we must do? Read it again. Every man praying or prophesying. Every man praying or prophesying. Every man in the midst of prophecy. Read. Having his head covered. Having his head covered. Dishonoreth his head. He dishonoreth his head. So, brothers, the first thing we must do is remove our caps. We must uncover our heads while these scriptures are coming up, coming up. Because you just heard the scripture. All right? So if you don't uncover your heads, then heaven and, heaven and earth just bear, bear record that you lying in front of the most, most High and lying in front of the prophets of the Most High. Read it again. Every man praying to prophesy. Every man praying to prophesy. There we go. There we go. We got to, now don't leave. Don't leave. That's the first step in repentance. We still building. That's right. All right, get, get it. Yeah, stick around if you can. Brother, give us a call. Call that number on that flyer. Read it again. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So the, the angels rejoice at, 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 the, at one person repenting. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.